Let's add some piles of awesome free motion graphics assets to an Unreal Engine 5.4 project. And I'm recording this before 5.4 is released, so a couple steps will be a little bit different for you once it is out. Uh, but the first set of assets we're going to add is the uh, Virtual Studio. So in Epic's Launcher, we'll go to Samples, and on the Samples page, just scroll down a bit, and you'll see this Virtual Studio. Click on that, and you'll generate a project. Now, again, 5.4 might be at least as a version available, but regardless, either way, just go ahead and create that project. Uh, once that project is created, you can open it up and you'll have that and we're going to get these assets which are loads of uh, really glossy shiny glassy uh, types of things that are going to be great for some motion graphics work uh, one other set of assets that's really handy if we go back to our launcher is we could go into the marketplace and uh, once we get there we can type in to the search and go to automotive And the very first asset here right now is the uh, automotive materials that are free from Epic. And if it's not, you can always just click the uh, filter for free and you'll get this asset. So we'll want that. And uh, again, for now, this doesn't go out to 5.4, uh, but I'm going to add it to the project that I just created for the uh, virtual studio. So I'll show all the projects. And there's our virtual studio project. And that's okay. We don't worry, need to worry. We'll just take that five one and add that. Uh, all right. Okay. So now that's been installed, we're going to go back to our virtual studio kit here and let's just make sure the automotive materials have come through and they get compiled properly. So I'm going to go into the automotive materials and then we'll just go to uh, maps and let's take a look at overview. And this should force a compile on all of those materials. All right, there we go. So now we've got all of these materials available to us and uh, that's ready to go. And we've got the virtual studio kit as well. So I'm just going to select uh, both of these folders with the control key and right click. And we're going to migrate this over to an Unreal 5.4 project. So migrate, we'll accept all of these and we'll say OK. And then we'll find, in this case, I'm going to use my motion design tutorial project uh, content folder and that's where we want to place it so we'll hit select there okay so the migration's done and i do not have my motion graphics project open so go to the content folder here move up and double click to open up that project Okay, so this is my little demo project open. I just took a default uh, demo level, deleted out what was there and uh, added in a, a blank sphere. So now let's go ahead and see if we can put some of these additional assets to use. So I'm gonna go over to the content browser here and I have my automotive materials. So let's double click in there and go to maps and uh, double click the overview so we can uh, make sure that they load in okay. Great, so now all our shaders are recompiled for 5.4 and I will go ahead to the uh, Virtual Studio Kit and take a look at the same. Let's just open up the Trackerless Studio. And sure enough, things are looking good here too. So let's go back and open up that demo level again. And here we are, real simple uh, platform here with a blank sphere. So let's start with uh, the automotive materials. We'll go to content and automotive materials. And then we wanna go to the materials folder. I highly recommend you explore the exterior and the interior materials. I'll double click on exterior for now and let's try a car paint. And uh, I really like this iridescent blue. So I'm just gonna drag that onto my sphere. And that looks really cool already. Uh, that virtual studio kit also comes with loads of materials, right? So if I go to content and over here to virtual studio kit, I can go into materials and they're nicely organized. I'll go to glows and let me take this uh, amber glow and put that on our stage ring. So that is looking cool as well. Okay, so we can also uh, get some meshes from our Virtual Studio Kit. So if I go to Virtual Studio Kit and double click on meshes, lots of different things to choose from here. I'm just gonna go into props 
and uh, take out this little small circle light and we'll drag that out into our scene. Oh, got to bring it up. Okay, so we've got the light and uh, let's try to feed that into a cloner. So I'll go into my add actors, type in a clone and that should give us our motion design cloner actor that defaults uh, with a bunch of cubes. So I'm just going to take that circle light actor and I'm in the uh, motion design outliner, drag and drop that in there. And uh, we'll go ahead and delete the cubes. So select that default cube and delete it. Yes, we do want to get rid of that. And finally, instead of a grid like this, I'm going to select our cloner and change that into a circle. And uh, let's add a few more clones. Instead of nine, we'll do 15, enter and position that really cool. And there we go. So we've got a lot of different things and there's plenty of different props and assets to look at here. Uh, you know, there's a different kind of light stand and I think that uh, you can have a lot of fun with all of these extra assets in your motion design projects. So I hope this helps until next time. Have fun.